Welcome back. Today I'm taking a quick drive through the city to test out FSD 1236. Uh, while I've been a bit more critical of 1236 of late, all in all it's been a very solid release from Tesla. In this video you'll see how natural the driving is in version 12, how easily it adapts to its environment, and we'll also highlight a few areas it can still improve in. Let's go. And immediately you can see how well it's uh, dealing with this uh, four-way stop there, almost a semi-roundabout, doing a nice little bend to the right here, no issues with that oncoming vehicle. Car slows down nicely for that speed bump, fantastic job with that. You know, I'm hoping in the future it's going to be able to sense uh, potholes, but the improvement in version 12 and speed bumps is really noticeable. It does a very good job with that very human-like behavior, and I can really appreciate that. Okay, we have an oncoming vehicle here. Tesla slows down a little bit. FSD moves around this parked vehicle on the right. Nice behavior there. Again, another speed bump, oncoming vehicle and parked vehicle all at the same time manages that very, very nicely. So, you know, in these scenarios right now, you can already see how much FSD has improved in version 12 when it manages things like speed bumps, oncoming vehicles, parked cars. Very, very natural like behavior there. All right, good stop there. Moving nicely through. There you can see again, slowing down again for that speed bump. Does a good job with that. Excellent job. No issues with that oncoming vehicle. Notices that jogger there. No need to slow down there. So, so far, doing a perfect job. Okay, we've got a green light here. Let's the vehicle pass. Very good. Nice pronounced acceleration there, but nothing too jarring, which is fantastic. Now you can see it's uh, signaling into the right, so it's uh, it's doing the right thing right there. It's getting out of the fast lane. No need to be in that left lane. And as we come around this bend there, it makes more sense for it actually to be in the right lane. You can see that vehicle in there is crossing the line, but uh, FSD does a great job keeping me centered in the lane as always. That's one thing I really enjoy about FSD. It just does an amazing job just keeping you nice and slender even when you're waving around you know, lots of bends going left and right. It's never an issue for FSD. It never takes you out of the lane. Okay, we're gonna get to this stop here. So we're at this red light right here. Uh, if you look far ahead, there is a, a row of cars that are parked. So FSD is gonna have to get into the left lane. I've got a lot of vehicles behind me. Got some vehicles that are on the left as well. Uh, FSD is gonna have to go and get into that left lane. So let's see if it's gonna accelerate in front of this car here, this blue car on the left and get ahead of it. You can see they're already inching. You can see the acceleration on the Tesla. It's got me moving up, but that car is not gonna let me pass. So it's really starting to gun it right now. So FSD has to signal. It's gotta wait for its break. You can see in the camera there, there's another vehicle coming up, but it finds its spot and nicely uh, smooth and smoothly moves me into that left lane there. So it did a fantastic job with that. Our uh, next turn is gonna be a left turn. Let's, let's see how it manages that. No need to move into the right lane. Keeping good distance there. Okay, we've got a vehicle here that's stopped or we got some traffic here that's gonna be turning left. Now I have it in average mode right now, so it's not swerving into the right lane. And to be honest, there's so many vehicles coming from behind that uh, it's not finding a spot to uh, to go around this vehicle. When I've driven in assertive mode before, I've seen it uh, where it can find its, uh, its brake, it'll go around vehicles that are signaling left. But right now it just can't do that. Again, if it was a little bit more natural and, like, and, and human-like, probably would have driven around it right now. It does have an opportunity, but it's decided not to. As you can see, we've got those other vehicles now that have moved into the right lane, so it's really impossible for me to do that move. If you look in the camera right now, or if you look in my display, you can see the vehicles that are in the right lane, so there's not really an opportunity. As you can see, I just bumped it up to assertive mode now. I'm gonna see if it's actually gonna make a difference. Just waiting for these vehicles in front to go left. I'm okay with it being patient, doing the right thing. As you can see on my display, there's lots of vehicles coming from the right, so there's no real uh, opportunity for me to go around them. All right, now those vehicles are moving. Oh, you can see I've got this vehicle here that's blocked in front of me, but no issues. You can see FSD takes my vehicle right around it. So that person was not doing uh, proper driving behavior there. They're inching out like that and blocking me. You can see we're gonna be turning left coming up here at the next light. 
And if you look on the left there, you see some joggers that are moving. Let's see what FSD does with that. You can see these vehicles in front of me that are looking to turn left. Let's see how they manage those joggers. They really should be way, they should be aware of that. I know FSD is. Now look, see the vehicle there? It's had to stop. You've got a cyclist who's going across. We've got the joggers. You can see that jogger's giving that guy a bad eye because really that guy shouldn't have been making that left turn. But again, it opens up and uh, FSD moves nicely. Very authoritative left turn there and very safe. It made sure there was no pedestrians. FSD, honestly, I think FSD does a better job with pedestrian detection than humans. I think that's one of the one of the pluses of FSD. I can't count the number of times it's caught a pedestrian crossing where sometimes I was looking in the other direction and didn't notice. I, I am taking a look here to see how fast it's accelerating down this road. You know, one of the things with the auto speed adjust that I've been noticing is sometimes from a stop, uh, the acceleration is a, a little bit more pronounced than I would like at times where it goes uh, far over the speed limit and then has to hit the brakes to slow down. But um, right now it's actually been doing a very good job with that. We've got a stop sign that's coming up ahead. So let's see how it manages that. Doing a good job. Engine forward, not getting too close to the vehicle in front. We've got the stop sign. So let's see what, let's see the acceleration. You can speed the speed limit here. I think the speed limit here is about 40. All right, waits for that vehicle to pass. Now let's look at the acceleration and see how it goes. You see, you go, yep. Yeah, just gets me just to 40, 41. So that's perfect. When you're on a, a slower street like this, it doesn't need to be gunning it to 50 fast and then braking. So that was good. Uh, I really appreciate that. No issues with the speed bumps here. As you can see, it's a, it's a tight street. Lots of oncoming traffic here, but it's managing it nicely. Lots of pedestrians walking through here. Let's see if there's any pedestrians that come in front of us right now. All right, just inching up to our turn here at the stop sign. Do a nice full stop. See the pedestrian there on the left, they're not gonna be going in front of us. So there we go and check out the acceleration again, going up to about 43, so that's perfect. That's perfect. It's driving perfectly right now, actually. It's doing a very, very good job with that. And again, this is a, a, a very busy area, lots of pedestrians, lots of vehicles, lots of opportunities to start and go. And I wanna see how well it flows. I wanna see if it's nice and natural and it's not too jerky when it's with the acceleration and the braking because it can really take you out of that uh, element when you have another, you know, when you have an artificial intelligence system driving you there, if you feel like you're kind of shaking all over the place, it kind of really takes you out of that enjoyment. Here's the acceleration again, just going over 40, so fantastic job with that. You see we have some vehicles that are kind of hugging that line there, but uh, it's not spooking out FSD at all. Staying comfortably in the lane, doesn't have to move over at all. Okay, we're gonna be getting up to a stoplight here. You can see on the other side of the intersection there, we've got a bus. We'll see if that's gonna still be there when we uh, get through here. All right, light's about to turn. Let's see, it's got us in the right lane, as it should be, but then actually then it immediately moves into the left lane. I think one of the reasons why it's doing that is because it sees the bus there. So I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Nobody wants to be driving behind a bus that stops all the time. So I'm uh, very good with that. It's watching its speed. It's being a bit more careful now. You can see it's going about 26, 23, 22. It's really slowing down now because there's lots of buses here. I don't know if it's thinking there's gonna be pedestrians, but it's really managing its speed. So, you know, I'm gonna, it's slowing down here. So we're going through a crosswalk, it goes 18. I might have to tap the pedal a little bit there because it's gotta go faster. I do have a vehicle behind me and I have to be courteous about that. So in that situation, it can improve that. If it detects that there's no people there um, at that crosswalk, it should do a better job of accelerating through there and, and maintaining its speed. It slowed down, it was extra cautious there, but I didn't really think it had to be that cautious in that situation. Again, there's lots of crosswalks here. You can see it's watching the speed carefully. The speed limit again is uh, 40, but it's keeping it into the 30. So that's part of the, um, the auto speed adjust. Now it's moved over to 40 because it sees it's uh, cleared up a little bit. 
Well, look here, I see now it's decelerating again into the 20s because I'm getting through another crosswalk. So I'm gonna tap the pedal again because I do have someone far behind me. So I just have to be a little bit um, conscientious of that there. So that could be one thing that maybe it needs to improve in version 12.4 is that it uh, when it gets to crosswalks and there's gonna be nobody there at the crosswalk, it shouldn't have to uh, break so much. Okay, we're going to be turning right here. See, it got comfortably into the right lane. Got a lot of pedestrians here. This is a very, very busy street. Tons of pedestrians here. Got pedestrians walking in both directions. We have this guy riding his little scooter. Let's see when it makes that right turn. Okay, got a couple more people crossing, and there you go. So it can detect with all the cameras there that uh, no issues with pedestrians and comfortably does that right turn. So that'll take us to the end of this drive, yeah. Uh, I was just doing a quick drive to the restaurant today and uh, all in all, I think it did a fantastic job. And really what I wanted to highlight was how natural the driving was in this condition. And I was driving with my wife and she said that was one of the most natural drives she's experienced on FSD. I think it did a fantastic job there. Mm -hmm. Again, I've been a little bit more critical of late, but the reason why is because I have such high expectations because FSD has improved so much since it moved over to uh, version 12. I'm really looking forward to seeing the perf uh, further performance enhancements on version 12.4. But all in all, I hope this video showed you how capable FSD is as an autonomous driving system. It's really improving and uh, I look forward to seeing uh, the upcoming enhancements. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Feel free to leave a comment. You all drive safe and I'll see you on the roads.